Okay, my name is Adrian. Welcome to the channel English with Adrian, helping you to expand your vocabulary, increase your confidence, and speak like a native Englishman. In this lesson, let's look at verbs. What are the kinds of verbs? What's an auxiliary verb? What's a linking? What's a transitive verb? Let's find out. Well, I already know. You're going to find out. <laughs> let's get started. So, verbs describe verbs describe an action an action action or state <sighs> state a state of being hmm feeling thinking seeing hearing ah or action doing doing or being oh <sighs> yeah i play football I play football. I teach English. I teach English. I drive a car. I drive a car. Hong Kong, I drive a car. Verbs, mainly actions. Play. Play football. Teach. Teach English. I yawned. Oh, I must be tired. Oh. Okay. I'll just look into that as well. But then we have the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb that modifies the main verb, changes the, mo changes the verb, gives the sentence more detail. Paul has bought a pizza. Paul bought a pizza. Paul has bought a pizza. Paul has a vent. Paul has finally, after all this time, finally bought a pizza. It introduces Introduces another way to change a sentence. Jason, uh, Paul has bought a pizza. Paul bought uh, a pie. Paul has taught a hundred lessons of English. Paul has dr uh, dr uh, driven a car before. Paul has played English, uh, played football before. It changes a sentence. Paul played. Uh, football before. Paul has played football before. Mm. But then, do. It gets nicely interesting. Do. We can create a question out of it, or we can create a negative out of it. Jason didn't learn to cook. Didn't. Did not. Jason didn't learn to cook. You did not learn. I don't know. You didn't learn anything. Well, what didn't you learn? You tell me. But then if we move the did and the subject, swap them around, we can get a question. Did Jason learn to cook? Jason didn't learn to cook. Did Jason learn to cook? Did he? Did Paul teach English yesterday? Jason didn't drive a car recently. Did Jason play football? Yesterday, today, oh, yesterday, did he play? Is will he play? Yeah. Well, let's not get too confusing. But yeah, Jason didn't buy again modal the uh, modal verb. No, the auxiliary verb changed the sentence around a little bit. Uh, did uh, Jason didn't buy a pizza? Ah, interesting. Let's keep going. There's always more to learn. Let's keep going. So then let's look at modal verbs and auxiliary verbs. Let's look at how they work together. So modal verbs modify the main verb to express an opinion or obligation. Something you think or something you really should do. It's like you have to do this. You have to. So Jason might, yeah, maybe, might make a pizza. Make being the verb. So the, mo the modal verb modifies the verb. So, Jason might, 50-50 chance, maybe, maybe, maybe not, or Jason should, he should make a pizza, he has to, it's inevitable, he must. Jason would make a pizza if, you know, if he felt like it, or if that was changed, or, or if something, were, if something were different out of his control, or he could, Jason could make a pizza if he wanted to, if he, you know, if he, if he had the stuff, if he felt like it. If his friends wanted it, he could have. 
He could, but uh, he, he might not. He has to, he could, has the potential, but if he doesn't feel like it, it's all right then. But Jason might make a pizza, making an obligation, well, an opinion. He, he might. I think he might do the. He might make the pizza, but we'll see. It's, it's down to him. We don't know. It's down to him. It's my opinion that he might make a pizza. We'll find out. We'll find out. But linking verbs are interesting. Linking verbs express a state of being or becoming. <sighs> state of being or becoming something. They can link them to a complement which describes or renames. It's interesting to describe something or renames it, rebrands it, repurposes it. Huh. So Jason might make a pizza. Jason then made a pizza. But then look. The pizza is delicious. Ah, it's a state of being delicious. It is delicious. Ooh, this pen is useful. Mm -hmm. The pizza is hot. <sighs> hot. You need a drink. The drink is cold. Ah. The pizza is big. In a, it's in a state. A situation of being big, not small, teeny tiny, what, well, tiny pizza, what is? But big. Pizza. The pizza is expensive. Expensive. You know, it could cost a lot of dollars or pounds or remimbi or yuan. What else is that? Yuan or something? Who knows? Might be expensive. Who knows? The pizza is is aggressive. <laughs> is aggressive. <laughs> An aggressive pizza. Oh. Doesn't quite make sense, but you're describing it. You're giving it a compliment. Delicious. Ah, oh, it's, it's really good. It's delicious. Or you're renaming it. You know, this, this aggressive pizza. This indecisive pizza. This assertive pizza. What else is there? This um, this monotone pizza. This. This world-class pizza. Ah, interesting. The biggest pizza in town. The hottest pizza in town. You're giving it a title. The hottest pizza. The del most delicious. Yeah, not, not as catchy as hot or spicy. The spiciest pizza in town. Oh, that's, interesting. that's a title, right? Now that's a title I can get behind. <laughs> okay. Whatever you're baking, it smells delicious. Whatever that smell is, it's delicious. That delicious smell, what is it? I don't know. Jason looks like his mother. Jason looks like his father. Does, with a D, does? Does Jason look like his mother? Question mark. Does he? Does Jason look like his father? I, 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 I don't know. Does Jason look like his brother? I'm not sure. Yeah. Looks. State of being looks. Looks like his mother. He's comparing the two. Yeah. Or smells delicious. Something smells delicious. What's that delicious smell? Yeah. So, modal verbs express opinions or obligations. Maybe, might, should, could, would, must, shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't. Linking verbs express a state of being, like linked to a complement, describes or renames. The pizza is delicious. The most hot pizza, in, the biggest pizza in town. Yeah, cool. Let's keep going. So, let's look at these transitive verbs then. Transitive and intransitive. Mm, let's have a look. So, some verbs take a noun, a phrase, or a phrase that receives the action. Verbs that take the place of an object are transitive verbs. So, let's look at some examples then. So, usual, James writes lessons. Subject, verb, object. Okay, usual stuff. But, a, some verbs never take an object. So, there's nothing here. So, subject, the taxi arrived. That's it. Full stop. The plane flew. The boat sank. Ooh. 
Nothing else. That's it. Subject and verb. That's it. The subject did something. No object. So, not, not like the taxi arrived here. No, no, no. The taxi arrived. That's it. The plane landed. That's it. The plane landed in Heathrow. Ah, object. But then again, some verbs have neither. So look, James reads the menu. Reads can be on its own. That's it. James reads the menu. Yeah. Or James gave his dog some food. And then suddenly we have indirect and direct um, verbs. Direct, mean, indirect meaning benef object. Indirect objects benefiting from the verb. So James gave some food to his dog. The, the verb is being applied to the food, but his dog is benefiting. He's an indirect object. James gave food. James gave, James gave some food. Some food. He's giving. The, the action is being applied to this object. Some food. Direct object. Give refers to the food. And indirect, which is the dog. His dog, he benefits from it. So James gave his dog some food. James gave, um, <laughs> James gives a lot, I guess. James gives the cat some food. Some food is the, is the verb, is the object, with the verb is being applied to it. And his cat is benefiting. He's getting, is eating something from the verb. He's benefiting from it. Yeah, cool. So, transitive verbs and intransitive verbs take the place of a noun or a phrase. Exactly. So James gave his dog some food. Uh -huh. The taxi arrived. Mm -hmm. James reads the menu. James reads. That's it. Or you could say James read. James is reading. That's it. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. So some verbs take the place of a noun or a phrase that receives the action. Verbs that, the verbs that take the place of object are transitive verbs. Cool. However, if you want to keep learning English, expanding your vocabulary, and speak like a native Englishman, then press the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss a video and upload. Yeah. But keep going. Keep learning.